What's going on YouTube? Today I want to share with you guys two affordable robot vacuum cleaners that can actually change the way you clean your house. The problem with a lot of robot vacuums is they don't have lighter or some kind of camera to help with navigation. So 9 out of 10 times they end up using the sensors, infrared sensors to navigate and they end up colliding into things or they end up getting stuck somewhere they're not supposed to be. So you get frustrated and you go pick it up and you know have to move it around or untangle a cable or things like that. And if you are somebody that doesn't have a robot vacuum and you're thinking about it, this video is also for you. I've been doing a lot of research and I've tested one out for more than a year now and I recently just bought another one and I have concluded that these two are some of the best, absolute best robot vacuums that you can actually buy off Amazon and get it within the next couple of days. I'm not sponsored by any of these companies. I just happen to be a person that loves to share something that I come across, especially if it's affordable and if it's something that can help a lot of people out. I'm gonna start by unboxing the newest vacuum, which is the Lublu Lu. I'll be honest, I'm not really sure if that's how it's pronounced, but I'm just gonna call it Lublu. So, this is the newest one that I purchased. I'm gonna unbox it, show you guys what it comes inside the box and compare it to the previous one that I've had for over a year. It looks and feels nice. The quality seems like it's gonna last a very long time, which is something necessary for a vacuum like this. Just like any robot vacuum, you have a bunch of sensors on the bottom and all around it. At the very back, you have your dustbin, which is the part that collects the dust and dirt or hair and you know things like that. I'll be honest, the bean is a little smaller than I expected, but it should get the job done. By comparison, here's the bean for the old vacuum that I have, which is also the other one that I'm going to be showing you guys in this video. As you can see, it has a much larger room inside. At the very top, you can see the lighter navigation camera sticking up. In the box, I have four color coordinated sweepers. Two actually go into the back of the vacuum, and the rest of the other two are replacement parts which is very good. So in total you have two sweepers and one brush in the middle for carpet. For size comparison, this white one is the YD Vac, which is a vacuum that I've had for over a year. It's also the one that I've been comparing to this Lulu B, Lulu Boo Vac. As you can see the white one is slightly wider but the camera is sitting flush up top whereas the under Lulu Blue the camera actually pokes out. They look similar from the bottom, however the Yidi Vac only has one sweeper whereas the Delulu Blue Vac has two sweepers. I believe the two sweepers allows it to clean the room faster but either way they both get the job done equally. As far as the rest of the accessories, the Lulu Blue Vac comes with an extra filter which is nice comes with the charger and the docking station. They both do that at the same time. This docking station is what allows the robot to automatically come back and charge itself. That's super nice. Now these vacuums don't just vacuum, they can also mop. And as you can see, this one already comes with the mopping pad that you can easily install at the back of it. Take it out to put water in it, you just easily slide in and out, which is pretty uh, nice and convenient. I don't use the mop function often, but when I do, these things actually really do work. By comparison, here's the new one to the old one that I have. As you can see, I've been using my mopping pad. I'm telling you that mop really works. The mopping features look very similar. On the UDVAC, you actually remove the attachment that comes on the back of it, and then you insert the water tank and the mopping pad itself, whereas on the LuluVac, the dustbin and the reservoir is all in one. The Yidivac look, tank looks smaller, however, if you open the back of the Lulu Blue one, you will see that the middle part is actually a dustbin, therefore they are about the same size when it comes to water reservoir. I can't do a proper unboxing for the Yidivac, which is the white one, because I've had this for over a year. I just happen to have the box because I'm one of those people that typically keep boxes for some time. But in the box you had the manual, the link cleaners, the, char the docking station for, the, uh, for charging and stuff like that. The only thing I didn't get that I had to buy separately was the mop, mop feature, but I believe it comes with it now if you order it uh, from Amazon. Now time to start these two vacuums and give you my feedback on which one actually cleans better and faster. So in order for me to see how well these two vacuums clean the area, I decided to make this space the area for them to clean. This right here is one of the obstacles that's gonna be used for this 
uh, testing because I found that my normal vacuum, which is that one over there, sometimes has issues when it's going over this. So I'm gonna see how well that one can go over. And also I'm putting my tripod here to see how well they can navigate around this. Uh, sometimes my vacuum over there gets cut up underneath this Segway and this is usually where I charge my Segway. So I'm gonna leave it there to see how well this one does against it. And sometimes my old vacuum also hits this thing. It doesn't have a problem cleaning around it, but it constantly bangs on this thing. So I'm also gonna see how well they both navigate through the back of this massage chair and navigate through this uh, area right here. So I just started this vacuum. And what I'm what I think it's doing is it's gonna map this room first and then create a map inside the app that I can you know clean with. I don't know if you guys noticed that, but one of the smart things that these vacuums do is they use the regular sweepers on the hard floors and when they get on the carpet, they actually turn on the middle brush to vacuum the uh, carpet, which does a very good job at cleaning uh, things like dog hairs and cat's hairs and stuff like that. So from my observations, these two vacuums clean very similarly and they also avoid obstacles very similar. However, they also do share some of the same struggles when it comes to things like uh, stools like that. The reason why they struggle a little bit at the foot of the stool is because they try to climb anything they can climb. If they can't get over it, they will, they, they will pretty much get over it. If they can't climb it, then, or if it's too tall, then the camera will see it, then they will avoid it. But for the most part, they will try and clean all around it and just pretty much be spotless as much as they can be. On a day-to-day -day basis, this is pretty much how they clean. They use the cameras to navigate and avoid things that they can avoid. And there are some times where they will actually impress me, like over here, look at how that thing just went around it. And they pretty much do that all throughout the house. Now, the things that are Achilles to this vacuum are definitely cables. Wires are definitely a no-no. So if you have wires laying around, pick them up. Otherwise, this things will get tangled in them. It took about 17 minutes to clean this room, so now it's gonna automatically return and charge itself. Start charging. Take out the dust box. Wow. I was not expecting this. So now time for the ED vac, which is the vacuum that I've had for over a year. Like I was saying, the camera on this one is actually flush on it, which would allow it to slide on the things easier. However, because the camera is up top, the way it navigates around is by scanning the ceiling. So it, it needs to look at the ceiling to be able to navigate around. It does have obstacle avoidance sensor all around it. That's how it's able to avoid that vacuum over there but it's not as good as the lighter on that one because that one is able to see forward this one sees top view so this one tends to uh, bump into things a little more than the lulu b than the blue blue on the on the other side is i would say that this one is more aggressive with, with cleaning this is definitely better at cleaning uh all around and the carpet but the Lou Blue one is better at obstacle avoidance and it's faster when it cleans. This one is just very, very good with, uh, with, with dog hairs and stuff like that. But you can see it's bumpy things around. It does, for the most part, avoid some stuff, but it's a little more aggressive in comparison. Overall, the Yeedy Vac cleans better. It's more thorough and I believe it also cleans the carpet uh, uh, better as well. If you look at a brush underneath, it's bigger and longer than the Lulu Blue. The Lulu Blue is very good at navigation. I think that if you have a house where you have a lot of wires or things laying around, the Lulu Blue might be the better option for you. But if you have a pet that sheds a lot or more than one pet, then the Yidivac might also be the better option for you. So it all depends on what you want. In a given space, 
the Loop Blue cleaned an area for 17 minutes while the Yidivac cleaned the same exact area for 23 minutes. The Loop Blue is able to do it faster because it has a forward facing camera while the Yidivac has a top facing camera so they navigate a little bit differently. Now what's interesting is they both clean the same area but the Yidivac is saying that it's 11 meter uh, square feet whereas the uh, the little blue is saying it's 14, which is kind of interesting. When it comes to the app, they're both very intuitive. I do feel like the Yidivax app is a lot more simple, but the little blue app does have one thing that the Yidivax doesn't have, which is the remote. On the little blue, you have the ability to control the vacuum, move it uh, wherever you want to move it to, whereas on the Yidivax, you don't have that. but Everything else is virtually uh, the same. They just uh, laid out a little differently. With the Yidivac, you're gonna have an easier time being able to navigate the app, uh, do a schedule, like the things that you want to schedule, uh, choose how you wanna clean each room and things like that. You can also do the same thing with the Lulu Blue app, but it's just a little bit more complicated. The app itself, Yidivac has an app called Yidivac, whereas the Lulu Blue uses Smart uh, Life. So if you already have equipment using Smart Life, you might actually be better off just getting Little Blue since Smart Life works with a lot of devices. For me personally, Smart Life actually works with my garage heater, uh, my a lot of outlets that I use with uh, uh, Smart Life. So that might be an option for you guys. But for the most part, like I said, they do about the same thing. Uh, you will find both of them uh, pretty uh, useful. I highly recommend these two vacuums. If you want to pick one up, check out my link in the description. There's going to be an Amazon affiliate link. It doesn't cost you anything extra, but it does help me out, you know. So I appreciate you guys for supporting me. I will catch you in the next one.